So in this example, we have a triangle that's been cut out of a rectangle, and we need to find the centre of mass. Now, in this example, again, we have a line of symmetry, because this distance is 4, that distance is 4, that's 7, and that's 7. So we have an isosceles triangle, and its line of symmetry lines up with the line of symmetry of the rectangle. So that's telling me that x equals 7 is a line of symmetry for the whole shape. So the centre of mass must have an x-coordinate of 7. So I could just focus on the y-coordinates here. Um, I'm not going to, but just so we know, we know what the answer for the x-coordinates has got to be. Okay. So I'm going to call the triangle shape A and the rectangle shape B. So we've got A, B, and the total. We've got the mass, the x and y coordinates of the central mass of the respective shapes, mx and my. OK, so the mass of the triangle, so the area of the triangle, we've got uh, 6 times by 4, and then half that, so that's 12, so 12k. But it's been cut out, so minus 12k. The mass of the rectangle is 14 times 18, which is 252, so 252k. So the total mass is 240k. Now, the x-coordinate of the centre of mass of the triangle, if we find the average of the x-coordinates, so 4 plus 7 plus 10, which is 21 divided by 3 is 7, as we had expected. Now, the y-coordinate is 10 plus 14 plus 10, divide that through by 3, is 34 thirds. Now, as for shape B, the centre of mass will be halfway along there, so 7, and halfway up, so 7, 9. So 12 times 7, so that's 84, so minus 84k. Then we're going to have minus 12 times 34 over 3, so that's minus 136k. 252 times 7 is 1,764k, and 252 times 9 is 2,268k. So 1764, take away 84, 1,680 of course, and 2268, take away 136, is 2,132k. So the average of the x's is going to be 1,680k over 240k, which hopefully should be 7. Yes. And for the y's, 2,132k divided by 240k. And we get 533 over 60, which is about 8.9. So the centre of mass is at 7, 533 over 60.